everyone to Coin Local 6 at 6. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola. We'll have the interview with that man in just a moment. But first, let's talk about this winter weather we're having. That's right. We promised you snow today, and snow it did. The December storm left a light dusting in some spots and then several inches in other areas. It did close down some schools, and kids were really happy about this one. So were the skiers. And now there could be more on the way. We have team coverage on this storm. Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman is standing by in pinpoint weather. But first, let's head out to our reporter, Cor Harlan, who's been tracking the snow. Uh, Cor, what's your exact location right now? Jeff, for just about at Barber Boulevard and Capitol Highway, just across from the Barber Transit Center, we've come down the hill from Mountain Park, if you will, to about 750, 800 foot level. And about 45 minutes ago, uh, it actually started to snow up at Mountain Park, and it is uh, sort of really trying very hard to snow at this elevation right now. This is a snow mix and rain of a snow and uh, rain snow mix, I should say, right here. As we stand here right now, but again, this is a good type of snow. It's not sticking to the roadways yet, and it's not causing any problem. But it is nice to look at. To the video we go now in the hills uh, south of Lake Oswego. This is near Lake Ridge this morning. It was a pretty decent rate of snow that fell. Pretty to see and easy to drive through again there as well. That's been a theme today. Snow also fell in Beaverton. There was actually enough snow for some kids uh, to start rolling up snowmen in the grassy surfaces. They collected about an inch or two of snow there during a heavy brief downpour. Now, uh, we're kind of calling this tonight, I'm kind of calling it Goldilocks snow. It's not too much of it. Looks nice on the grass, <laughs> and it is, as I say, easy to drive through. I think it's good. It means we can go skiing, and we plan on going up in the next few days, and it's nice. And yes, we had to get out of the office, which is the house, and go get a cup of coffee. So we had a little snow alongside the curbs and the roadways up there at Mountain Park just a minute or so ago. All of that is gone down here. Just a couple of hundred feet in elevation makes a real difference. You can see the sidewalks here simply bare and wet and traffic moving along here at the speed limit. Just a normal rush hour commute here with a few snowflakes uh, flying into people's windshield as they head home tonight. Reporting for you live tonight in South uh, West Portland here at the Barber Transit Center, Cor Harlan, Coin Local 6. Yeah, and Cor looks cold out there. You know, many kids in Southwest Portland woke up to snow in their yard, and most of them didn't have to go to school because Portland City schools are already out for winter break. Coin Local 6 reporter Jessica Morkert shows us the fun. This is the scene in southwest Portland this morning, a steady snowfall that's blanketing the streets and yards. It's not enough to build a snowman yet, but it's a welcome sight this holiday season. Somebody showed that it was snowing outside, and I looked out the window, and I was like, oh. OMG, it's actually snowing. And it's just about the best thing that could have happened to brother and sister Max and Sammy Newland. My mom told me it was snowing outside, and I went to check to see if it was sticking, and it wasn't sticking then, and I checked again a while after, and it was sticking just a little. And I checked the third time, and it was sticking a whole lot. Enough snow fell on their southwest Portland front lawn. They have a decent-sized base to a snowman. A steady flow of the white stuff blanketed streets, mailboxes, and cars. Oh, we just thought it was going to be cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hoping for snow. It's only the second day of winter break for these Portland public grade schoolers. The countdown to Christmas just one week away. They're hoping to recreate Frosty the Snowman. And they won't be able to stand and walk around. And are hopeful for another day of snow to finish the job. Reporting for you in Southwest Portland, Jessica Morkert, Coin Local 6.